This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News. From WFAA.com and Grosbeck, Texas. No Texas city has ever run out of water, but this city of 4,300, about 90 miles south of Dallas, may just do that bone dry. Grosbeck gets its water from the Navasota River and Fort Parker Lake to its north. But within this summer's drought, dropped the lake level below the spillway. Grosbeck had to start siphoning water off of it with a 5-inch PVC line it hastily installed in two weeks. The lake will be too low for that operation to continue. Mayor Livingston said the city is now considering whether to take out a $400,000 loan to build a three-mile pipeline around the evaporating lake and go further up to the Navasota River, where there's more water. Livingston said the city sent out 1,000 postcards to customers on Tuesday, urgently asking them to conserve. Grosbeck also posted an emergency message on its website. The Associated Press reports from Grand Prairie. A construction crane has collapsed at a highway site near Dallas, but no injuries have been reported. Officials say the crane went down shortly after 10 p.m. Tuesday in a work area along Interstate 20 in Grand Prairie. Susan Slupacek with the North Texas Tollway Authority said Wednesday that nearby traffic was not affected. She says tollway officials are trying to determine what caused the crane to fall. Part of the crane was left draped over an elevated highway that's under construction. Police may and will use military-type observation drones over Texas, as well as other states on its city streets. A North Texas city that tested helicopter drones will be the first to buy two of the small aircraft to record video and take photographs. The Arlington City Council on Tuesday approved spending $202,000 for the battery-operated drones to be used by police. Police earlier this year tested several of the remote-controlled helicopters, which weigh in about 11 pounds and stretch nearly four feet. Arlington has been working with federal agencies on the testing program. This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News.